Hi guys, thanks again for joining me. So, for those of you guys who are new, my name's Melissa, and today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on the new Hourglass Mineral, not Mineral, um, Translucent Setting Powder, as well as the Retouch Fluid. Now, you guys know that I swear by the Becca, <laughs> the Becca Hyd Hydra Mist Setting Powder. I love this powder. Um, it's supposed to set and refresh your makeup, and it does exactly that the only thing i'm not happy about is the um packaging because it's messy and the same thing here it's very messy but um what can i say just... so right now i have nothing on my skin besides my foundation i am wearing um the tatcha primer i'll link all those videos below in case you guys want to see the reviews on those they're very very um you know informational um and i talk in detail about everything and i and i do a wear test on everything that i put on my skin so i'll link those down below in case you guys want to check those videos out but i do swear by this i love it i have not used any other powder and i'm almost scared to try this because i like i said i love hourglass powders and i feel that it's gonna be great but we are going to see. We're going to put it to the test. So first, I'm going to play around with the powder. Um, I'm going to go on Beautylish's website and read to you what the claims are. So it says, Veil Translucent Setting Powder infused with light perfecting diamond particles. This weightless powder blurs imperfections and creates unbelievable smooth airbrush skin. It diffuses the look of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. Custom Gold Sifter dispenses the perfect amount of product diamond powder adds luminosity without flashback i'm gonna put that to the test um translucent formula formulated without talc which is amazing vanishes on all skin tones so this powder is supposed to be great for all skin tones so this is what it looks like <laughs> Um, I just took off the little sticker and it actually made it a little bit of a mess, but that's okay. So it has a special sifter that pours out the right amount of product. So what it says to do is to flip it, tap, and open. So we're going to do that. And not for nothing, but I feel like I got nothing on there. So I'm going to start with my under eyes. First, I'm just going to... Um, just smooth out my lines. I am wearing my NARS uh, Creamy Concealer. I only put a little bit on. Today is going to be a very natural looking makeup look today. So I'm just taking a Sigma brush. I think this is an E25. No, F, F35. I was so off. And I'm going to press that. Alright, I actually like really, really like banged it in order for some product to come out i'm not i don't like the sifter now i feel like i can get a little bit more product on my skin closed up a little bit sorry about the lighting it's gonna get funky but this is what my skin looks like i i feel like it looks so luminous without looking um glittery and it's not my nose looks so good my under eyes look really good show it up close up a little bit more but my under eyes look so good i'm gonna go in and put a little bit of bronzer i actually purchased a new bronzer i, I don't know why i took so long to get this but i've been dying to get it for a little while now and this is the Too faced sun bunny bronzer um, and I've been just dying to try it out and I used to, when I worked at Sephora, I used to, um, play around with it and I loved it and I never bought it, but I just wanted something that's going to give me a nice glow and I don't want something too heavy. I don't contour as much as I used to. Oh, this stuff is so good. It goes on like butter. I don't know if it's the uh, powder that makes it go on so good. But this is going on so smooth. Oh my god, I'm in love. Then I'm going to pop on some blush. And then we're going to buff out the makeup with the powder one more time. And 
And then we're gonna put on some highlighter, one of my favorite highlighters, the Amrezy highlighter. Now I'm gonna go back in with the translucent setting powder and I'm going to buff all of that out. So everything is just look more just looks more softer. My day, like I'm gonna go about my day. Do what I gotta do. I'm, I just wanted a close up so you guys can see. I absolutely love the way my skin looks right now it looks so good my under eyes everything 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 my nose looks good I'm so happy um, I have high high hopes for this powder um but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and go about my day then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna try the um, retouch uh, fluid together after you know a couple hours and touch up my makeup and see how it looks um, after that and see how it holds up so I'm excited to try this so yeah so so far so good with the powder I love it I am gonna go ahead go about my day and I'll see you in a couple of hours to touch up my makeup so see you in a bit so this is the second half of the video I told you guys I will come back to touch up my makeup and also show you guys what my face looks like now with the uh, translucent setting power powder power um, but my face looks good. I think it looks really, really good. Um, I don't see that my foundation is breaking up anywhere. My nose is a little oily. My pores on my nose are showing up a little bit. It's nothing crazy. But I am oily. But not like ugly oily or greasy oily. I look hydrated I look nice I look natural I look skin I look like I'm glowing and I like that I really like that look um my under eyes don't look bad I just I didn't wear any mascara under there and somehow it, the mascara from the top transferred to the bottom so that's the only thing which that always happens to me no matter what I do um so I'm gonna retouch it right now with the hourglass what is this called? Retouching fluid. Um, so both products that I did pick up, I got them both on beautylish.com and both products, the mineral veil, I keep, I don't know why I keep calling it that, but the, uh, translucent setting powder, that one was $46 and it's the same thing on Sephora's website and the retouch up fluid, uh, was 34 and it's the same price on beautylish as well. Um, I'm going to read to you what Sephora says, um, only because I had it up. Um, but the description is very pretty much the same thing. Um, it says what it is. It's a sheer weightless oil-free fluid that can cancels out dullness, illuminates any darkness, and retouches fading makeup without cracking, without caking or creasing. Um, and then it says what it does. Meet your concealer's best new best friend. Veil retouching fluid is multitasking, a multitasking complexion enhancer that you won't want to leave your house without this weightless oil free fluid adds just the right amount of brightness coverage and hydration that your skin needs during the day it's like your morning cup of coffee your 3 p.m piece of chocolate and your post workout glow all rolled into one as it doesn't say anything i'm trying to see if it says anything about it being for all skin types it, i don't see that it says that anywhere um but it actually comes in shades it has one two three four five six six shades i got mine in the shade natural i haven't even played played with this so i don't know if the the shade that i picked out was a good shade um i'm hoping it is but we will see so i don't really have any cracking i don't really have any settling i don't really have um my makeup my makeup's not really breaking away at all um maybe a little tiny bit right here just a little bit, but my chin, just a little bit. So I am going to take a 
paper towel and just kind of pick up some of the oils that's on my skin. So here I have the mark of my glasses and I always have that. Um, so that's one of the places I'm going to use the fluid, the retouch fluid. Um, I'm going to put it there and under my eyes. I'm going to put this to the test right now. I'm going to put a little on my nose. And I'm just going to put a little right there and on my chin. Okay, so I just put a little bit of powder on and of course I showed you guys that. But all in all, I'm really, really loving both products. I am really shocked. Um, after wearing my, my makeup so long for so many hours, my makeup held up really, really well without me retouching it at all. I didn't retouch it until now, until I came on camera here. Um, my under eyes, I always struggle with that, but they don't look as bad as they normally would. Like, it looks really good. I'm really happy. Um, everything feels really good. It doesn't feel heavy. My skin, of course, doesn't feel dry. Um, the touch-up fluid really actually worked. I didn't think I would like it. The formula is very different. It doesn't feel like a concealer. Like, when you put it on your skin, it's almost, like, sticky. And then it dries down to, um, not a matte finish, but it dries down. So the sifter is a little bit of an, um, it's a little annoying, but... It's nothing terrible because I still got it out. Um, and then another thing, I'm going to show you guys a picture here. There was definitely flashback. And that doesn't make me happy. Right, so no. all in all, first impressions, I'm really liking both products. Um, very, very happy. I had high hopes for both. And thank God they worked out for me because I was like, listen, I paid a lot of money for these products. They better work. Um, so yeah, so uh, I don't know if I'm going to love this more than my Hydra Mist. I have to use it a little bit more in order to say that I do love it more. But so far, I think I love my Hydra Mist. I think it keeps me a little bit more matte though. Not like super matte, but I think it really controls more of my Oreo longer. But it, it wasn't like, a, it wasn't terrible. Like this, for the amount of hours that I had it on, I could have been way more oily in my T-zone. So and I, I, I felt like I looked nice and glowy and I felt like I had like a natural glow within. I didn't look like greasy or nasty. So I'm really, really happy with the product. So that's the end of my first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you would like to see more videos like this, let me know. Leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.